Hello everybody and welcome to episode 19 of the Pal World series. And in today's episode, our objective... Why do I keep getting cold? Just right in this spot. Hold on, let's try it again. Walk right over here, here maybe, sprint. I guess it's it got warmer all of a sudden. But our objective for today is to go back into the mountains, where we were in the previous episode, before we ended, and look for some kind of electric creature. We need a jolt hog, or a... What is the other thing called? Uh, spark it. I need to murder things. Yeah. Specifically electric things. So let's look around for some. See if we can't find any. We had no luck in the previous night, but it seems like the electric creatures don't like to spawn during nighttime. Capritis. I believe I have ten of them. I'll ignore them. What about up here? Kremis. Don't need it. Boar. Mm, don't need it. However, they do give leather, so I'll murk them. And bones. And meat. They have a lot of good loot, honestly. Hey, that's what I want. A spark it. You're mine. If I can just make sure I don't kill you. Good. Almost killed it. Shot him in the ankle. The Achilles heel. What's that? Kremis? Not what I want. I know I have ten of them. I'm just keeping an eye out for Vixies, just in case. But it's all Kremises. Wait, nope, there's one Vixie up here on this little rock. Thought you could sneak around, get away from me? I don't think so. If I could just jump my way to you. Let's try not to kill it by shooting it in its ass. I killed it. Whoopsie. Well, I got some leather and bones out of the ordeal. Any other Vixies around here? I don't think so. What the hell was that sound? Oh, there's a Vixie. Got it. If they're level three or below, don't shoot it in the head. They just jump up here, please. Can I, can I please jump up here? I'd love to. Fine. Just make sure to shoot it in the foot. I missed. Try again. Okay, am I just hitting the rock? Is that what's happening? I just don't want to hit you in the face. Here we go. Right there. Oh, man. I had a hard time hitting this thing. Right there. Awesome. At least this one didn't die in one shot. And we got it. Hooray. I don't see any others in the area. Less Kremis, Kremis, don't care about those. We want Vixies. Give us Vixies. That should be enough for now. We need a truly ludicrous amount to get what we want out of having multiples anyway. So it's going to be a very overtime kind of subject. Let's see if we can make this jump. Ooh. Actually, yes. We maintain a surprising amount of forward momentum in the air. I'm impressed. Hmm, should we collect this? Sure, let's get the wool. Set up some more cloth to be crafted. Never hurts. Should probably do this once every other episode or so. Oh, crap. We have some splody boys on the way. We've seen these things before. Self-destructing birds. Last time they set my base on fire, which is not okay. Come on. Who do you think you are? Trying to attack my base? I don't think so. I'm gonna catch both of you. You're just free XP to me. Hopefully. <laughs> If they actually get close to the base, I'm going to stop trying to catch them. I'll probably just kill them. I don't want them tearing the place apart. Although, didn't I make that one out of stone? Let me take a peek. Yeah, so I don't have to worry about fire there. Never mind. I'll let them blow the place up if they get there. I don't think they will, though. It would take a long time for them to go all the way up there. Then back around. Come on. 28%. That's pretty good. You should be caught by now. You understand what statistical probability is? Now you do. Another rush or You know what? The bones are hard to come by, so I'll take it out. Ooh, and another Vixie. Don't mind if I do. Catch. You're mine. This area is just loaded with so much good stuff. Vixies, rush oars, ducks with almost inappropriate names, self-destructing birds. It's really just a land of happiness and wonder. Oh, another Vixie on the way back. Good. Ooh, not that. This. And it's dead. Whoopsies. Rough way to go. Shot in the back of the head. Sure that wouldn't have been the first choice that they would have picked. You know, I got very distracted. I was going to try and collect all the wool here. It seems fairly random as to which, uh, ranches they decide to go to. They'll fill up half of the bottom one and then the other half will just come up here. Actually, never mind. They seem to prioritize the top one. Just by looking at the sheer volume of pals that I have up in this area. Man. <laughs> Picking up multiple items is noisy. Check this out. What a wonderfully obnoxious sound. God damn. Almost 300 wool. That's not bad. Guess I should take a peek at the feed box. Make sure they're not starving to death. Oh no, they're fine. They have more baked berries than the original base. That shouldn't be like that for too long, however, because that original base... Actually, how many pound spears do I have? Eh, enough. The original base now has five, I believe, berry plantations. Maybe we should... Oh, more tea posing. Wonderful. Get him, Tombat. I'm liking the stance. <laughs> Taking a peek over here. Oh yeah, 
They produced another 160 berries over what was here prior. Let's keep letting that happen for a while. I think I actually want to go get some more wheat seeds as well. Let's do that. Do that. We're going to have to kill or catch things up in the north around this battalia. Hmm. Nah, we'll pay a visit to that boss thing, whatever this is first. Let's check that out. Then we'll go to that King Paka. It's a little to the south of it. What is, what is, what is this called? Azerobe. Okay. Uh, I don't care to get involved in that fight. No need to. Let's hop in our diggity dog and I guess go down into the water? Where is this thing? It's literally just straightforward from here. Um, you know what? I need to test if this is like Ark. What happens if I am on a flying creature and I touch the water? I just continue to fly. Cool, I guess. Works for me. Um, Alrighty. Speaking of which, I can reassign moves on my creatures, right? Because I like the bird. Because, you know, it's a bird. It can fly. Nothing else can right now. But I do not like that weird tornado attack. Um, I replaced it. If I hit left click. Okay, I'm doing the one that I just assigned to left click, but it still says tornado attack. If you look at the bottom on that HUD there. Now if I dismount and remount. Okay, now it's fixed. I guess you have to re-ride a creature for it to update that in the UI. Not a big bug. Pretty small time, really. Hmm. I kind of like these moves where it's just a quick single attack. Keeps it simple, you know? Kelpsy. I don't have any of these. Sounds like XP to me. See if we can't catch a couple of them. Oh, no. I hit it with my crossbow instead? Yeah, still alive. Nice. Wait, that's the whole boss. It's, r <laughs> it's right there. Okay. Well, it's not aggro. That's good. Ouch. I'm just getting pinged to death by this Kelpsy thing. And there we go. We caught one of them. Here comes the second. Just gonna catch everything around here and then go for the boss so that they can't get in the way. I've seen the wild creatures attack and hurt each other and I don't want that to happen. <laughs> you do have to throw the spheres in an arc if creatures aren't close enough, which is a nice little detail. Uh, that should probably be enough. Nah. Let's just get the rest of them for the XP. Also, I'm assuming this smoke means it's another one of those cages? Yeah, you can see it right there, kind of, in the distance. There's a cage. So let's catch these creatures and then check that out. See what kind of goodies we have in store. Oop, that murked it. Whoopsies. Gotta be careful. The triple shot bow is definitely way better for catching creatures. The crossbow is just better for combat. Can't have the best of both worlds after all. Oops, killed it again. Whoopsie daisy. Yep, here are the humans. I'm trying to mess around and fight out. Mm, I see what it is. <laughs> Their AI is just so derpy. Hmm. Is that a. I think there's a Vixie inside the cage. Hold on. Wait, one of those says that they're a grenadier. No, both of them do. Do you drop grenades? That would be nice. I want grenades. Gimme. You dropped stones and gold. What? Ouch. Oh, that hurt. He hit me for 300 damage. Good thing I have the shield. Jolt Hog? Ah, oh, we need more of these kind of things. Anything to get those electric organs? Tansy? Nah, just kill it. Murked. Ow. Oh, what the hell? One of these Kelpsy things is still alive. Get in my balls. Hey, stay in the sphere, man. It's not worth it. You're gonna love it at my home. Well, there's more of them. <laughs> Might as well get all the ones that we can while we're here. I don't know how often I'm going to visit an area like this. Are we done? Stop fighting. It's, it's futile. It's not worth it. You should know better by now. Didn't you just watch me catch like four of your friends? It's over. Give up. The Empire has won. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why I said that. My brain is just on Star Wars. Come on, just stay in the sphere. There we go. Now I want this free Vixie. It's in a cage. And now it's mine. You know, we haven't seen a shiny in a while. One of the big ones. So where am I on the map? This is interesting looking. Ravine entrance. Okay, I still have to get that boss. Just get this Melpaka thing. There we are. And then we'll go get the boss. That actually reminds me, I defeated that big electric thing. Definitely not Electabuzz. And I got tech points. I have seven of them. That's quite a few. I'm going to use it on this feedback. Just for a convenience thing. It's So what this does, as in describes unlocks a food slot in your inventory the player and the pals will automatically consume food when hungry so i'm just gonna have to get to the base to craft this and then it'll make food essentially trivialized i won't have to go and feed it to things myself Wait, is that another camp another one more free pals well, let's get the boss first hmm? speaking of hunger i feel it now berry time didn't i get any meat 
I'm killing these creatures? Ow. Who? What? Okay. I guess the boss is picking a fight now. You can't even give me time to eat. Hmm? I see how it is. This thing's kind of healthy. Let's see if I can just solo it with my bird. Just got to mix between its two attacks and then the crossbow for maximum damage output. Ouch, 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 ouch. It's pretty tanky, this creature. Okay, bird's about to get wasted. Time to dismount. Dog. Yikes. This thing is weirdly tanky, even though it's like 10 levels lower than me. Ow. My health is getting low, not the dog's. So I think I'm going to dismount and let him do his own fighting. Just for a bit. Yeah, seems like the best bet. Ooh. Ouch. I don't do that much damage to this thing. Neither does the dog. I think it might just be a high defense type of creature. Oh, taking damage. Let's get the deer out. Man, it loves targeting me over the pals. That's fine, I've got those Dark Souls rolls. Bars. Nope, oh, that ain't hitting me. Deer's putting in work. Oh, no, don't kill it. It's got two HP left. Two HP in a dream. Had to go over the Hail Mary throw there. I think if I get hit again, I might die. When all my shields came back, I'm good. All right, we caught that thing. Got another technology point. That's cool. Uh, let's hop on the wolf. Since it's the fastest creature. You know what? Let's take a peek at this other smokestack over here. Is this the same one I was just at? Or is it the other one that I saw? Seems to be a different one. Oh, these guys are level 20. Youch, okay. They hit pretty hard. Let's go ahead and send out something with a little more health. Yeah, the deer can tank their shots. These guys have assault rifles. That's not cool. I'm just back here in the Stone Age with my crossbow. Seems like they're capable of dropping ammo. I've gotten it previously. Wouldn't mind if they could drop the gun, too. Does it just mysteriously break after I kill them? Just sniping them out. What is that thing? Van Wait, is that a flyer? I need it. It will be mine. I'll make sure of it. After, of course, we clear out the humans. Otherwise, they might attack him. Yep. Charge him down, dear. Don't kill him, though. That's enough. Yep, that's fine. Keep attacking me. Me and you, 1v1. You will be my friend. I need more flyers. Uh, that should probably be low enough. Sphere time. What are our chances? 22. Still pretty good. Not bad. Not bad at all. I have to give it quite an arc with this throne because of how high up he is. Oh, I'm flashing red because I'm starving. Great. Gotta eat now. Get some good old berries. Rush or pork. Might as well make use of it. As far as I know, it just sits here and spoils in my inventory if I don't use it anyway. Let's feed fish to all of my friends. We're eating good tonight. Whoa, what in the world is that thing? Hold on a second. If I remember correctly, yes, if I hold F, this battalia will heal me. And it healed by quite a bit, actually. It's not bad. This is 400 health. Then the T-Fant can do the same thing. So if we hold F, we heal up another 200 health. And now we're going to pick a fight with, what is this called? Brawn Cherry? Brawn Cherry! <laughs> My elephant ain't having it. He started picking a fight before I even initiated. Let's get it nice and low first. Okay, that's enough. That's enough. Don't kill it. No, nope, don't. Nope, come back. Come back. Hitting all the wrong buttons. 10% chance. Eh, it's not too low. Just got to make sure it doesn't kill me on its way out. What is that? There are things here I've never seen before, and I will have all of them. Let me get on my dog. What is that? What are you? Also, free egg. Cool. Wooly pop. Wooly pop. What do? You're about to be mine. Start this off with a bang. Oh, I don't know why, but that attack hit like three times. It's happened a few times now. I don't understand it. Also, ooh, another one of these things. You, you're going to be mine, but what's this? Pal soul. I'm going to get you. Said I'm, I'm going to get you. Stop running from me. There we go. <laughs> it's not the best matchup. The dog doesn't have great projectiles. Ouch. Rude. Why does it keep doing that right when things are about to die? It just... Hit several times. This power shot move is bugged. Very bugged. If I remember... Yes, that's right. Up this path should be a quick travel point. So we can come back here easier. Is this leather? Just on the ground? Okay. If you say so. Let's go ahead and grab this quick travel point. What else is around here? This is very interesting. It's like its own little area. I guess we're in a new biome. Should we go get that King Paka thing? I'm kind of interested in it. Oh, chest. Just right by this quick travel thing. Free stuff. Sure, you know what? Let's go as close to that King Paca as possible and go and catch it. I think this is closer. The settlement. And we head north west. First, actually, we'll take a peek at the dude who trades pals here. See what he's got in stock. Hey, buddy. What do you have? Buy Univolt. 
the heck is that? Rush or Fox Box. Pretty mid, honestly. Pretty sure the other shop stays the same. So now we just go northwest toward the King Packer. I think the bird is probably going to be the best bet. So we can just skip all of the path traversal and just go up when we need to. Seems like the best bet. Up we go. You seem to exhaust stamina at almost two or three times the speed when you hold shift, the sprint button. It's really bad. Specifically on flyers, it's not as much of a problem on grounded units, but once you're airborne, they don't want you to sprint at all. Not even a bit. Let's go ahead and grab this effigy on the way. Oh, there's another one fairly nearby. I guess I'll get that one too. Oh, there's two of them. They're everywhere. Also another one of these pal souls. Now I can use these at the statue to increase the stats permanently of one pal using a handful of souls. I probably will just mass stockpile them until I figure out exactly which pal I want to use it on. Because right now I could not possibly tell you which one I would want. Closest thing would probably be, well, the bird. Because bird. I have gone very much not the right way. <laughs> Guess we're heading east. Oopsie. A little bit more of a straight east? No. Southeast. I overshot my objective big time. Ooh, a chest in the middle of the night. Oh, that took keys. Yeah, well, doesn't hurt. I got bread. Yay. Wait, is this? This is it. The boss. King Packer. We have him and two little Mel Packers. I'm probably going to prioritize taking them out first so that they won't mess with me during the fight. So let's do that. That just auto-targeted the boss for no good reason. Okay. Fine. I see how it is. <laughs> okay. Well, we're doing this now. Let's go ahead and just dismount so the bird can do its own thing. Get my crossbow out and fight in the dark. Did I just do four? Or no, I do about 20 damage. Never mind. Oh dear. That was a big one. Seemed like it had an explosion radius. Not that one though. That's just a generic projectile. It's not too bad if I'm the one distracting the boss because, well, I can just avoid all damage if I dodge properly. My creatures, however, tend to just take it to the face. Yeah, most of the time that's what they do. I see two Vixies in the background. I'm more excited about them than the boss. So far this is going pretty smooth, and the bird doesn't have any super strong attacks, so I don't have to worry about it suddenly killing the boss. Ooh, looks like headshots have a chance to stagger. Kinda reminds me of Dark Souls. Sometimes when you get critical hits, you'll do enough poise damage to just stagger enemies. Just a little bit more damage to go. My bird is stuck in a tree. How fitting. Uh, 160 health, 130. Probably take the bird out now. Get out two more shots. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Watch it, buddy. That could have been dangerous. All right, time to start trying to catch him. 5% chance. <laughs> Might be a long night. This is why I want to get more of those lift monk effigies. This could be better, because something like this, level 20 some odd, I think it would be sensible to catch it with standard pal spheres. It's only 20 something, I'd say 25 and below should all be standard pal spheres. Anything above that, you start moving into the more expensive ones. But anything that's at the higher end of 25 takes a long time. Like when we tried to catch the Robin Quill, it was the same thing. That's why we wanna get as many of those effigies as possible. Go ahead and whip out a torch. Oh, we got it. Nice. That was easy. Since we're here, let's get these mail packets for the XP. If we don't kill it in one shot, we didn't. Hooray. Now let's hope it doesn't put up as much of a fight as the big one did. That was annoying. Come on, give it a rest. One more. There you go. Good Malpaca. Where were those Vixies? Where? Oh, where? Lift Monk, Ucrates. They might be gone. Oh no, they're right over here. You're mine. All mine. Oh, don't die. Why did you take so much damage? <laughs> that was a lot. You know, let's see if we can hit it once with the crossbow. Yes. Nope. Done for. Okay, lesson learned. Well, we got most of what we came for. I'd say it was actually a fairly successful day. If I could just... It, God, it's so dark. What the hell? Okay, let me get on the bird. There we go. Much better. Being able to go airborne is everything. Truly. Let's see what happens when we run out of stamina. Do we take fall damage on the way down? Is it really... Oh, no, I guess not. There's no penalty for it. But then again, I guess you do lose stamina way faster than you would in something like Ark. Understood. We're learning. But this has been episode 19 of the Pal World series. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. I will see you in the next episode. But for now, goodbye.